travels from Singapore is May 17th Monday. Today's key events: Singapore trade balance release, China retail sales year by year April 26% expected, China unemployment rate April 5.3% expected, Thailand GDP growth rate year by year Q1 minus 3.1% expected. This week global key events: EU employment GDP inflation key figure gonna be released. Whether EU has the same trend about inflation as the US can be found this week. US FOMC minutes release, China loan payment rate release. Vaccine COVID-19. Here is the top 10 global ranking by countries. Fully vaccinated weekly change. UK 4% up, US 3% up. Singapore monthly basis 9% up for population vaccinated now 33%. 8% up for fully vaccinated now 23%. Singapore Health Minister said MOH studying the possibility of spacing out the time between two doses vaccine up to six to eight weeks instead of the three to four weeks so that more people can receive the first dose. Those who already have appointment for the second dose will not be affected. Singapore new test device ALT rollout now. ALT test result takes 30 minutes only versus 48 hours for the PCR test, but less accurate. Singapore recent measures. House Minister Mr. Oikan said further monitoring the COVID-19 situation needed before any decision on circuit breakers. So yesterday, 38 new community cases. This is the highest daily numbers of the infection reported since last April. 18 are unlinked. House Minister said we know there will be on impact recent measures and I think we will only know whether CB is required in the coming days. What is the impact on the foreign measures? Let's review. Tighten uh, measures including a new limit of two people for all social gathering and a ban on dining in from May 16th to June 13th. All prime minister, prime school and the secondary school as well as the junior college and the millennial institute will shift to fully home-based learning from May 19th, May 28th. Clarification on the recent measures also released. Taxi and private hire to passenger limit. Family exception, family on the same household can go out as one group to the do essential activities, school, medical, take care of the elderly one, but for grocery shopping, do try to keep two. Family can travel in the same car, uh, take public transportation together. Sports, swim outdoors is okay, golf for ball in two group or two people okay with a mask and the three meter distance is okay, badminton, uh, basketball, tennis table tennis is okay, but Mask must be worn at all times when playing sports indoors. Others, Singapore Titan border measure with Taiwan, Singaporean PL travelers to serve 21 day stay home notice. US, relax mask rules for the fully vaccinated people. CDC say if you are fully vaccinated, uh, you can resume activities without wearing the mask or staying six feet apart. Expect or required by a law. Or local business and work based guidance. Equity commodity. STI index was grows 3055 last Friday, more than 2% down per day, about 4% down per week. Steel development short sale high, comfort daily growth strategy review happened last week. Fraser hit the three months low, more than 6% down, ex dividend day last Friday. Gentin Shippo hit the three months low, short sale high. Kepel Corp share buyback, OCBC, SGX share buyback happens. SATS hit the 3 months low, SIA more than 5% down, Singtel strategy review last week. Thai beverage released Q2 net profit up 19% year view, looks good. UL Venture hit the 3 months low, Wilma share buyback happened last week. Asia stock last week, weekly change, more than 4% down is Japan. Singapore 3% down, more than 2% down is China H, Hong Kong, New Zealand, Thailand. But highest like an impact place is Taiwan, more than 8% down per week. US stock last week 1.1% down for Dow, 1.3% down for S&P, 2.3% down for Nasdaq, weekly basis. Sector basis, weekly basis, consumer cyclical, about 4% down. Individual stock, weekly basis, Tesla down more than 12%, Disney more than 6% down, semiconductor red down, Banks, okay. Commodity, gold, oil up, silver, platinum down last week. Future this morning, Dow, S&P, Nasdaq down. Currencies, one USD, 1.33 Singapore dollars. Last week, USD appreciated Singapore dollars. 
that's why last week no much change this morning 90.3 other country versus us korean won change a lot weekly basis korean won 1.3 percent down versus us interest rate cyber no change solar little came off to the 0 0.15 private property home loan 0 0.994 floating 1.144 fix no change Shareable government bond yield 10 year last friday 1.54 percent last week three base point up only U.S. 10-year treasury no, 1.62% this morning. Last week is a little came up. Thanks for your company. Have a good day and a good week.